In this class, we are going to learn about one more concept in Oracle Apex that is RESTful Services. While working on Oracle Apex application, we come across a common scenario wherein we have to expose the tables, functions, procedures and any other database objects which we are having within the Oracle Apex workspace as a web service. So we can do this with the help of RESTful Services. So this is one of the offerings within the SQL workshop what you get in the Oracle Apex Designer or the workspace. Also popularly this RESTful Services is known as ORDS that is Oracle REST Data Services. Now what we will do is we will try to expose this customer's table as a service using the ORDS or RESTful Service and we will try to consume in our application like any other REST API. First of all, what I will do is I will go to SQL Workshop and click on the RESTful Services. Click on this. I have not used ORDS as of now in my workspace. So if you are getting this message, just click on this register schema with the ORDS. And you have to choose the schema alias. I will keep this as is, that is the workspace name. I will uncheck this install sample service. And I don't want authorization as of now. We will try to see how we can enable the authentication that is auth 2.0 client credential in our next class. As of now, I will uncheck this authorization as well as install sample service. I will click on save schema attributes. ORDS RESTful service is enabled in my schema. Now by default, it will add the roles, privileges which we are going to see in the next class, the modules and the enabled objects. We have covered in detail course on how we can create the ORDS RESTful services in the standalone database. The concept is same, how we work in the standalone schema or the database. The same way we have to work on the ORDS or the RESTful services in the Oracle Apex workspace. First and the foremost thing is, we are having a very good graphical user interface in Oracle Apex. We don't have to use the SQL developer or any other tool that is the command line in order to expose the objects using the ORDS. So we can make use of this workspace. Click on the module and I will click on create module. So this is the first step in creating any module or ORDS service in Oracle database. I will tell over here this is the demo app. I will put over here demo app slash is the base path I will make this published and I will keep everything default click on create a module so after we create the module like how we have seen in our ORDS course we have to create the template within the module I will click on create a template so this is having zero coding so earlier in the ORDS course we had seen how we can create all those things with the SQL developer or with the help of PLSQL block so we had written in detail everything like how to create the module template using the PLSQL block so Apex is doing the life of developer very easy that is by giving us the no code platform as a Oracle Apex workspace now in the URI parameter what I will tell is I will tell over here customers as we are going to retrieve the customers available in the customers table that is over here I will give the name as customer so it will be demo app slash customers click on create the template next I will add the handler so in the handler we will expose this as a get service I will keep this collection query because we have to return n number of customers from our table coming to the source here I will read the query that is select star from Customers, let me search if there is a customers table. Yes, there is a customers table. So you can manually see how this query is returning the data using the SQL command. So this is one of the offerings within the SQL workshop. I will paste the same query over here and I will click on run and see if data is returning and if there is any error in the SQL query. So our SQL query is correct. What I will do is I will click on create the handler. Done. This is the very easy step in order to create the ORDS RESTful service using Oracle Apex workspace. So there is this URL. You can call this from the postman or even from the browser. We will try to hit from the browser. And we are getting the data. So as this is not secured, we are getting the data from our ORDS web service. So this is working fine. In our next class, we will secure the ORDS endpoints using the OT 2.0 client credential. At that time, we will get 401 authentication. So I will keep everything simple in this demonstration. So this is how we have to create the ORDS RESTful service. Click on apply changes. Then 
Now we will go back to our application and consume this in our application. Now we are here in the application. In order to consume any REST API, be it external REST API or the API which we created using the RESTful service or ORDS, we have to go to shared component. So in detail, we had seen how we can call external REST APIs using the Oracle Apex in our previous class. So the steps are same what we used in our earlier class like when we called the external REST service that is we have to go to shared components and under the data source we have to click on REST data sources. Click on the create. I will go from scratch. Click on next. It is asking what is the endpoint. I will tell REST customers and if you want to name something you can give get or something. Coming to the endpoint we can copy the endpoint from our restful service that is for the get over here copy this and we can paste it over here click on next so it will automatically consider what is the host and what is the relative uri click on next i don't want to use pagination as of now but ords apis are inbuilt having the pagination that is limit offset and has more in the response click on next authentication i don't want as of now click on discover so it is going to make a call to our ORDS API. Since it is not secured, we are getting the data without the authentication. Click on create the REST data source. We have configured the REST data source in the shared component. Let's go back to our application. Now we can consume our REST data source or the ORDS REST API in our application page. Let's create a simple page. I will go for the blank page or we can go even for the classic report. What I will do is I will go for the classic report straight away. Select this. Click on next. I will name this as demo ORDS. That is customers get something we can name. There is a typo. I will correct it. Coming to the data source, it is asking from where it has to pull. I will select REST data source. So we had configured our REST data source in the shared component. From the drop down, we will see the name. We have to select the same. Suppose if it is having nested rows, we can select over here. So we are good to consume the ORDS API in our page with simple steps. Click on create page. So we have not done a single coding. We didn't write the single line of code or the PLSQL block. Everything is with the no code offering what we get with the Oracle Apex application or the workspace. So it has automatically created the classic report and we didn't add any regions. So everything as I told it's having no code or zero coding and it has added all the columns what it is having in our database table so with this set what we will do is we will try to preview this page i will click on run i'm previewing this page or the application for the first time i have to populate the credentials i have populated the credentials i will click on remember the username and click on sign in so as soon as we sign in we are getting the data from our data source which is exposed via the ORDS REST API. Suppose if I had selected the pagination then we would have got this next button over here or the hyperlink which we had seen in our previous class. So like this by following the simple steps and just by simple clicks on the workspace we are able to register our ORDS REST API. Also we had seen how we can create the REST API and also consume the ORDS REST API in the page in the Oracle Apex application. In our next class we will see how we can create the secured ORDS API using OR 2.0 client credentials.